What are we even doing here? Well, I've got four cans of sardines that I'm gonna try today. And you might have noticed that these are not expensive $7 cans that I got at some Brooklyn food boutique. No, these are working man sardines that you can find at any supermarket. You know, Kroger, Walmart, Stop and Shop, Safeway, Albertsons. What do you got? These are the first cans that I had as a kid, and these are the brands that I ate growing up. So without further ado, what do you say? Let's boogie. Here we got Bumblebee sardines in oil. Now these are Spratz and soybean oil. They are from, where are they from? Poland, yeah, sure. We like Spratz, we like Poland. We like soybean oil, sure we do. Now look at them. They're all kind of helter skelter in there. Don't mean nothing, but um, it is what it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Smell is good. Uh, oil tastes all right, you know? A little mushy, pretty clean, unoffensive, not too fishy. I think the soybean oil is doing its job here, working with the uh, flavor. I still think that the, the skin is pretty here. A slight grit to the spine that you can, you know, barely detect that um, I appreciate. For buck 79, I'd say not that bad. Actually pretty good. Where they lack is a little bit in the presentation, not only in the can, but also just the way they kind of look and how they hold up to handling. I think they're seasoned well. I think there's the right amount of salt in here for them. I think they're pretty good. Here's a good looking one that um, I wanna open up and just see. Yeah, look what we got. I mean, the spine stays together. I can barely say anything bad about them. I got a lot of good things to say about them, huh? On to the next one. Season brand, premium bristling sardines in water, lightly smoked. Okay, y'all, these were not cheap, all right? I know we kind of pitched this whole thing as like I'm eating some cheap sardines. $4.59 for the can here. It even tells you like what species they are. Clupea harangus, which I wonder if these are kind of like similar to herring. I don't know if they're in the herring family. I, th th the more I read, the less I know about the different species of little fish that they call sardines. But anyway, they're in a box, which is a great sign. Uh, let me open these up. Okay, packed in a row. I don't know why I have the compulsion today to just completely take the lid off, but I do. Let's see. These are really soft. Yeah, they're soft. Okay. Oh, this is really coming apart. It's hard to... So we're getting, we're getting a tour of the inside here. Yeah, okay. Spine first. Got some on the floor, shit. So these are just in spring water. And when I eat sardines in spring water, I kind of like the bigger ones. I like something with like firmer flesh and a little bit more going on. This is really weird because they're super mushy. The flavor is super exposed. There's no oil there to help you out. They don't keep together enough to where you can 
transport them and put them into some other kind of food, like on a salad or in a sandwich or something. You're really gonna have to mush them up and then add your own oil. But even mushing them up, I think they're just too mushy to mush, if that makes any sense, because you don't wanna make some kind of like spread out of it, or maybe you do. I don't know, man. Um, just right out of the can like this, this is not enjoyable. $4.59 a can. I'm gonna pass on these. I included these because A, they had them at the store, but B, I've seen them at lots of stores. I think they sell these at Costco. So even though I haven't eaten these a bunch, I know that these are around. Um, I don't know. You know, I hate to say that like these suck, but I just wouldn't eat these for pleasure uh, at any time in the future, which is a bummer because this was the expensive can and this was like the can that I was thinking, hey, maybe there's gonna be some cool new thing here, but no thank you, on to the next one. Brunswick, select small sardines in soybean oil. Now this one right on the can, it says contains herring, soy. So this is herring, which I don't know, must be kind of like a bristling sardine. I didn't even notice at the store that it said herring on here, but these don't seem like they're bristlings at all. I don't know. These are bigger than most of the uh, kind of sprats bristlings that you see. Okay. Because these were, um... oh, hey buddy. <laughs> What's going on? You want to help? These were really the ones that were in the crummiest looking can. So these are the ones that I had the lowest expectation for. You know, I think you really can judge a book by its cover when it comes to sardines. But um, they don't look so bad in here. And uh, you know. By the way, these are from Canada, it says. Hmm, what am I getting? I don't think the soybean oil is doing the same work as they were in the bumblebees. Let's just open these up. These look pretty good inside, you know? The spines are um, staying together. Yeah, these are okay. I wouldn't turn these down if they were presented to me like, hey man, uh, you know, I stare at an Airbnb or something and somebody's like, uh, Yo, there's some sardines in there too, if you want to help yourself. Yeah, okay, no problem. Is there something, I guess I don't like the oil. They're also a little salty. It's just, something like right at the tip of my tongue, a taste that I get as soon as I put it in my mouth that I'm not in love with, but you're not gonna be in love with everything, you know? Next. King Oscar, wild caught sardines in extra virgin olive oil. Okay, these come in the uh, signature wrapper here. Hey, where are these from anyway? Poland, okay. All right. These are uh, the nicest looking ones I think we've seen today. Look at, they're all stacked in there. You see a little skin on the top. They look good, you can actually handle them. The skin is pretty. The uh, smoky flavor is the first thing to kind of pop. Then you kind of get the olive oil. These are the only olive oil ones of the bunch here today. And it's actually kind of a welcome treat to get the olive oil taste in the mix again, even though this isn't the greatest olive oil. These guys are a little soft. Some people might like it, but I don't like, I like, I like firmer, firmer uh, meat. Um, looking inside here. Yeah, they come apart pretty easily if you want them. If you're a gentle guy with the chopsticks, you can 
You can get him out of here. The smokiness is doing its job to kind of hide some of the flavor of these guys. Cause I, they kind of have this sort of not so interesting flavor, kind of like the way that the, the season ones did. I would be on the fence about whether to get these or, you know, you could get cheaper, you know, like Latvian Sprats might do you just fine. Tell you what, out of all the ones that I had today, I think the, the bumblebees were like my, um, hey, not bad, kinda. And I expected these to be pretty good. People always bring these up. And um, yeah, I can see why. Yeah, yeah. And they got their little tails on them. Well, these are the cans that I bought. I got what I got. I thought what I thought. But if you think that there were any blind spots in my little supermarket sweep here, please let me know in the comments down below because maybe I can circle back to this type of roundup in the future. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me again. Uh, if during this video you thought, hey, I could watch this crap for hours. Well, that can be arranged. I know you have some things to do today, but let yourself off the hook for once. You deserve it. Just chill out to a couple more fish videos, and afterwards, I promise you're gonna be ready to attack whatever it is you got to do. Seriously.